Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I wanted to share some pages, and the title of this video might scare you. Don't hold your breath. It's going to be fine. This is a page I did on Earth Day, and make way. I'm coming, Lord. I'm slow like a turtle, but I'm coming. And I was using colored pencil in this, and I started grabbing a cotton ball and some blending solution to blend it, and totally forgot I was working in my Bible. I don't know what happened to my brain, but normally... This is all saturated with oily stains, and it was when I first did it, but I tried something that fixed it. The problem is I didn't know exactly what I had done because I had all my color pencil supplies out, and I didn't know which one of my blending solutions I had used. So now I had some testing to do because I wanted to find out what I did that made this technique work to get rid of that oily stain. I've told you in the past, that when I use any of the blending solutions in my Bible, I make sure it's on an area that's so heavily saturated with the colored pencil that it just protects the paper underneath, that there's no paper showing through so that I don't get that oily stain. And I never blend out into the white of the paper because that's where the oily stain really shows up because it's just saturating the whole thing, making it wet. And I say wet, but it's not water wet, it's oily wet. And I don't really know what's in these things, but I use either Gemsol or baby oil for most of my colored pencil blending. And I put them in a little jar and I have cotton balls in there so I can control the amount of liquid that I get onto either the cotton ball or the blending stump or whatever I'm using to blend with. That allows me to control that instead of having just a big bottle of liquid. And here I'm just, you know, using a bunch of the solution and trying not to be real tentative. Because when I test things, I like a real world test. And in a real world test, I would not like make one little stroke and test one little section. I would be like doing a whole page. So I'm just going to do a whole page. I told myself I'm willing to sacrifice this. If it totally goes south, then fine, it goes south. At least I've learned what I did in the previous one and can figure out whether or not I can do that again. So you can see over the text letters there, that's what normally happens when I say that you get an oily stain, you get that kind of darker, it just, the paper looks wet. And I've had pages that have been wet looking like that for years because I had done them a long time ago. And you can see what that stain looks like. That's what I've had several pages of mine that look like that. So that's why I don't use the solutions anymore. And this time I decided the other page looked so bad and I really liked the art on the back side of it and I didn't want to have it be ruined. So let me just try this. And I took my heat gun and I blew across the surface of the paper. I'm not pointing the gun at the paper. I'm doing it like it's wind going across the surface because I don't want to burn it. I have burned pages before. And look at that. That's kind of amazing. It just disappeared. I have never seen that happen before because I I mean, I've also never dried the page before like this because I tend to keep heat away from the Bible. I don't really want to wreck my pages with getting them all heat, heated up. I was going to say hottened, but heated up. So the bottom section, I'm going to try with the baby oil. That's the other one that I've used before. And again, I consider them mentally the same thing. I don't know what's in them, but I've blended with them both on paper and they both work about the same. So again, going to dip my cotton ball in there and smoosh it around. Now I recommend that you try the same kind of a test with your pencils and your blending solution and your Bible paper. Like do it on one of the index pages or something in the back or that intro page in the front, but make sure it's on Bible paper so that you're getting an idea what the Bible paper does, not if it's a specialty paper in those sections. So just find a place where you're willing to sacrifice some, some amount of paper. And it's usually easier on those back or front pages, you know, table of contents or something. So just slathering it on here, like I normally would if I were doing some blending. And again, I've got a smoosh of oil coming through the back, but this time it did not dry up. Maybe a little bit around the edges of some of the sections. But one of the things that did start happening is it started steaming as if I was cooking the oil or something. I don't really know what's going on. I am not a scientist, but there's something sciencey going on here. So I would let it cool and then just trying to see if I could get that to 
to blow off with the, the hot wind. And it did not work. It did not go away. So I thought, okay, let's see if the Gamsol has magical properties. Maybe if I put Gamsol on this and the Gamsol bleeds through and then maybe it'll suck whatever's going on out of the baby oil sections and everything will be fine. So I got my heat gun out and started again trying to dry it. And the Gamsol disappeared and the baby oil stayed. So apparently when I did that other page, I used Gamsol instead of baby oil. I wasn't sure which one I had used. They were both sitting there on my desk and you see the containers are kind of the same. So I didn't know. This is how I tested and found out. Now I am testing with Prismacolor pencils. I'm not testing yet with other brands. So you may want to test with your brand of pencil, as I said, on your Bible paper with your blending solution, whatever that is. And make sure you test for yourself. Don't just totally trust what I or anybody else says. Try it for yourself so that you know what's going to happen in your Bible. So I'm going to try to see if I can recover this page in some fashion. I just picked a whole bunch of analogous colors. Analogous are next to each other on the color wheel because they'll blend together the most easy. So blues and greens work just fine since I had some blue from the other side anyway. And smush, smush, smush with that Gamsol. Again, I wanted to see if the Gamsol would, from this side, if the application would help to mitigate some of the effects of that baby oil in that middle section, especially just to see and mush, mush, mush with all of this. Now the page at this point is really saturated. I've got a lot of oil going on here or Gamsol or yeah, I know somebody's going to correct me because there's probably something other than oil in Gamsol since it apparently dries out nicely, but the page is, it feels kind of soppy, wet and heavy at this point. So I got out my heat gun again and I'm going to see what happens when drying it. Now I have not tried at this point because I just did this yesterday, day before yesterday, and I have not tried other things yet to see if air drying works with this as well. I don't really know, but I will be running some tests in the coming weeks or months and let you know what I find out. And if you find something else out, and please feel free to leave a comment and let other people know what you tried that worked or didn't work. And those who are wondering can scroll through the comments and see what happens. But you can kind of see the lightening of the color where the Gamsol only was. And there's that still that big section in the middle that has that chunk of where the baby oil was. It's a little bit darker, but for the most part, it's hidden. It looks like just a mushy background. And you could do stripes and all different kinds of patterns. You can draw things on there to cover over it. But just making a background like that seems to at least have satisfied me that I could do something out of it and recover the page in some fashion. So once I got all that done, I added trees and a moon and stars and things to one side. And I added a scripture to the other side. So I don't think anybody would know when flipping through my Bible, that I had a big disaster that happened there. But I am thankful that Jesus saved my bacon because <laughs> he does that all the time for me. So I hope this was helpful for you. Please feel free to leave a comment. Go join our Bible journaling group on Facebook and chat with the other ladies there as well. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.